people who reduced their caloric intake by an average of 12%, just 300 calories, showed striking improvements in cardiometabolic health among study subjects who were of average weight or slightly overweight and healthy. Avoiding just 300 calories per day allowed individuals to lose weight and body fat. Their cholesterol levels and triglycerides improved, their blood pressure fell, and they had better blood sugar control and less inflammation. This, my friend, is fabulous news. Welcome to Philosopher Insights, the podcast that delivers wisdom in minutes a day that you can put into practice daily and strive to master over a lifetime. The podcast committed to sharing ideas that encourage you to bridge the gap between who you are today and the person you aspire to be in the future. Hi, my name is Herb Lamba and welcome to my podcast where I will share practical insights from the world's best authors. Knowledge isn't power, applied knowledge is. The quest to become the best version of you starts right now. Today we're looking at Life Force Part 2, How New Breakthroughs in Precision Medicine Can Transform the Quality of Your Life and Those You Love. The authors are Tony Robbins, Peter Diamandis, and Bob Harari, and this book is published in 2022. When continuing our look in this great book, we're going to cover the following insights. Starting with Build a New Heart, Stroke and GDF-11, The Whole Body MRI, Inflammation, Reduce 300 calories, diabetes in 22 pounds, the longevity escape velocity, and mindset and placebo. So let's start with insight number one, build a new heart. Quote, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer because the heart is the least regenerative organ, says Dr. Chuck Murray, director of the University of Washington's Heart Regeneration Program and chair of the university's institute for stem cell and regenerative medicine. In other words, the heart can't heal itself on its own after an injury like a heart attack. The heart contains six or seven billion heart muscle cells. If you have a serious heart attack and are fortunate enough to survive, you can lose more than one billion of those cells. The heart doesn't replace them, so it never replaces their ability to contract either. End quote. This is from a fascinating chapter titled, How to Mend a Broken Heart, where Tony shares some incredible tools that will soon help to protect and restore the most important organ in the body, the heart. Dr. Murray's goal was to figure out a way to make the heart regenerate because it has the potential to cure a variety of heart diseases. Dr. Murray's big break came in 1998, after the discovery of the first human embryonic stem cell, and more importantly, what are called pluripotent stem cells that can be reprogrammed to become any specialized cell in the body. Quote, Now that Murray had the cells he needed for his research, he set about using them to build new heart muscle. He induced heart attacks in mice and rats, inserted embryonic cardiac stem cells, and watched them multiply over time and re-muscularize part of the heart wall. Murray was actually creating brand new heart muscle. Murray aims to be injecting stem cells into human hearts by 2023. This will be one of the biggest revolutions in heart repair in the history of medicine. End quote. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but being able to repair damaged heart muscle, something that once seemed impossible, will soon be a reality. There are so many amazing discoveries in this chapter that you need to read this book to fully digest them. Insight number two, strokes and GDF-11. Quote, Consider an inspiring vision of a future in which old brains and hearts could become young again. Does that sound far-fetched? That's exactly what's unfolding at Alevian, the company run by Dr. Mark Allen, MD. Alevian has developed a naturally occurring protein called Growth Differentiation Factor 11, GDF-11, with powerful regenerative properties. Aged mice that received an injection of GDF-11 saw a reduction in age-related cardiac hypertrophy, an enlarged or thickened heart, which is a hallmark of cardiac aging. GDF-11 also boosted brain function, improved skeletal muscle repair, and increased exercise capacity. Whereas the gold standard treatment for ischemic strokes needs to be delivered within a narrow four-hour window, GDF-11 can act up to one week later. 
a potential treatment that can work up to a week after the ischemic stroke would drastically change the face of stroke medicine, end quote. Just as with the heart attacks, the future of treating strokes is extremely bright. GDF-11 is a huge discovery that would allow the body to increase its capacity to regenerate. Elevian was in Phase 1 trials at the time this book was published, but are expecting to be treating strokes in 2023. Insight number 3. Whole Body MRI Quote, If you want to stay healthy and head off trouble, there's no better diagnostic tool than the newest form of the whole body MRI. What does a whole body MRI scan entail? You lie still inside a noisy machine that costs millions of dollars, and it takes about 15,000 images of your body using radio waves powered by magnets. But the diagnostic data you derive from this test can be absolutely priceless. Among other things, the MRI can detect solid tumors of the neck, chest, abdomen, pelvis, and brain, along with other life-endangering problems like cardiac disease, aneurysms, and neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, end quote. Tony suggests combining this whole body MRI with the GRAIL blood test, which I mentioned in part one of this Philosopher Insight. Many people prefer to live in ignorance, feeling that it's better to be ignorant than to know. I completely understand. However, the precision of this MRI and the GRAIL blood test allows you to live your life with confidence in your future health or to begin making lifestyle adjustments depending on the results. The key to avoiding getting taken out by these major illnesses at a young age is early identification. Quote, as Peter explained, there's one overarching question that we're looking to answer with all of this next generation diagnostic testing. Is there anything going on inside your body that you need to know about now? And if you find something, the answer is not, oh my God, it's okay, I'm going to crush it. So when people say to me, I don't want to know, I say, bullshit. Of course you want to know. You want to know as soon as possible when you can do something about it. Put simply, it's all about empowerment, end quote. That passage has a lot of power, obviously. You want to know, but you're frightened of getting devastating news. Early bad news is actually good news, since it empowers you to make the necessary changes and continue living a healthy and productive life. Insight number four, inflammation. Quote, there are two main types of inflammation, acute and chronic. Acute inflammation is painful but generally positive because it starts the healing process. In the first few minutes after an injury, the damaged tissue sends off an SOS alarm throughout your entire body. By making your blood vessels leaky, hence the swelling, acute inflammation enables immune cells to quickly enter the affected area and start immediate repairs. But what if that original insult to the body never gets fixed or keeps getting repeated? The result can be chronic inflammation, which activates your immune system into a state of wartime readiness for months or years at a time. Chronic inflammation can lead to epigenetic DNA damage and diseases ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to cancer. End quote. This is one of the clearest ways to distinguish between acute and chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is now believed to be at the root of many autoimmune diseases, so learning to control it is vital to a healthy future. Quote, to control and alleviate chronic inflammation, we first need to learn how to measure it. Edifice Health has created the world's first diagnostic test to reveal a person's inflammatory age or eye age. The best gauges of our inflammation level and our inflammatory age are about 7,500 proteins. Edifice has condensed this large set to a core panel of five protein biomarkers, and their predictive power is startling. They can foretell frailty seven years before it happens. They can predict cardiovascular aging, arterial stiffness and heart thickness, even in currently healthy people. The Edifice blood test, an eye age metric, is also able to pinpoint people with undiagnosed autoimmune diseases, end quote. Simply incredible. Chronic inflammation is at the root of many autoimmune diseases, and being able to accurately gauge our inflammation levels to predict future health issues is truly remarkable. 
This technology is available today at a cost of $250 per test and is expected to be available commercially by mid-2022. Insight number five, reduce 300 calories. Quote, during a two-year investigation published in The Lancet, people who reduced their caloric intake by an average of 12%, just 300 calories, showed striking improvements in cardiometabolic health among study subjects who were of average weight or slightly overweight and healthy. Avoiding just 300 calories per day allowed individuals to lose weight and body fat. Their cholesterol levels and triglycerides improved. Their blood pressure fell and they had better blood sugar control and less inflammation. This, my friend, is fabulous news. What other minor intervention can produce such massive changes for the better, with so little effort, end quote. William Krauss says, quote, There isn't one drug that does all that to accomplish everything we did with caloric restriction. You'd need five drugs, end quote. It turns out that losing weight, even amounts that may seem relatively trivial, can dramatically benefit overweight people with insulin resistance or prediabetes. Fortunately, even extremely small weight losses, improved glycemic control, and moderate weight loss often prevents ameliorates type 2 diabetes, says Dr. Kahan. Weight loss of as little as 3-5% to of body weight begins to improve insulin action and glycemic control, end quote. Tony discusses a groundbreaking study that looked at the effects of reducing just 5 to 7% of one's body weight. In a 200-pound person, losing 10 to 14 pounds lowered the incidence of type 2 diabetes by an incredible 58%. There are no pills or surgeries required. Merely limit your caloric intake and wait for the results. Insight number 6. Type 2 diabetes and 22 pounds. Quote, in a nutshell, Losing a substantial amount of weight in a relatively short period of time can actually reverse type 2 diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes now have a choice rather than a life sentence, says Dr. Ron Taylor, MD. And that's not all. Not only did investigators demonstrate that reversal is possible, they also determined that it involves what is fast becoming the holy grail in the treatment of diabetes the restoration of beta cells, those insulin-producing cells in your pancreas, end quote. This is another groundbreaking piece of information since prior to this discovery, it was widely assumed that type 2 diabetes could not be reversed and that damaged beta cells caused by obesity were irreversibly lost. Quote, bottom line, when you take away the fat, the beta cells regenerate, they start producing insulin, and the diabetes disappears and you slash your risk of a whole host of devastating complications like cardiovascular disease, kidney failure, Alzheimer's, amputation, impotence, depression, and blindness. I don't know what the scientific term is for a simple intervention that can heal your body in so many vitally important ways, but here's mine. Magnificent. End quote. Magnificent indeed. You might be asking how much weight people have to drop to have such a dramatic impact on type 2 diabetes. The magic number was 22 pounds. The vast majority of those who achieved remission lost at least 33 pounds. If you or someone you know has type 2 diabetes, I hope this motivates you to take the steps necessary to possibly overcome the disease. Even though it is difficult, it is well worth the effort. Insight number 7. Longevity Escape Velocity Quote, My dear friend Ray Kurzweil, speaks about a concept called longevity escape velocity. It's an intriguing notion that in the near future, science will be able to extend your life by more than a year for every year you're alive. Once that happens, we can begin to think about true longevity. Ray's prediction is that we'll reach longevity escape velocity in the next 10 to 12 years, end quote. It sounds too good to be true. But with the current rate of technological advancement, I suppose it's not such a reach to imagine the possibilities. It is the exponential growth in technology that will transform the boundaries of longevity. Quote, in terms of health, every single person will have the ability for real-time monitoring of their health and physiology from sensors in their body and on their body, measuring everything from blood glucose and blood pressure to microRNAs that might indicate an impending heart attack, or the quality of your sleep. 
Today we have Amazon, Alexa, Apple, Siri, and Google Now. Eventually, we will have a personal AI, a version of Jarvis from Iron Man. These personal AIs will collect and monitor our health data and enable us to ultimately become the CEO of our own health, end quote. Imagine a world where you have real-time access to the information you need to make health-related decisions. Gone are the days of waiting for a cancer diagnosis or the first heart attack. Your personal AI will be monitoring 24-7 and inform you while you still have the chance to address the issue. Insight number eight, mindset and placebo. Quote, there are countless examples of placebos duplicating or even surpassing the impact of a real, actual drug. By mobilizing the brain's frontal lobe, the placebos can have tremendous power over pain, over medicine side effects, even over degenerative disease, end quote. This is from a chapter called The Power of Mindset, which examines how our minds can change our lives for the better. We've all heard about the efficacy of placebos, but I'd like to share one really compelling example from the book with you. Quote, a trial at the Houston Veterans Affairs Medical Center enrolled 180 subjects with significant pain from osteoarthritis. Two-thirds underwent arthroscopic knee surgery. The other 60 had a fake placebo surgery procedure. Both groups had the same prep and were cared for overnight by nurses who didn't know who'd had the real operation. The results? The placebo patients reported just as much pain relief and functional improvement as the ones who'd had the real surgery. One year later, the placebo group was doing better at walking and stair climbing than the surgical patients, end quote. If that study doesn't solidify your belief in the power of the mind, I don't know what will. That is nothing short of incredible. The pain and the suffering you experience every day can be managed by a better mindset. Quote, you don't have to pop a sugar pill to get this effect. Simply changing your outlook can add years to your life. According to an Ohio study, middle-aged subjects with positive attitudes on aging wound up living more than seven years longer on average than those with negative attitudes. And research out of Yale found that older people with a positive focus on aging were 44% more likely to fully recover from a disabling health problem, end quote. The majority of people just accept the aches and pains of getting old and believe that nothing can be done to alleviate their health challenges. The research clearly says otherwise. If we do not learn to direct our mind, our mind races towards fear. Did you know that according to the Centers of Disease Control, the second highest risk factor for people with COVID, second only to obesity, was fear and anxiety? Your mind can make you sick or make you healthy. The choice? is yours. Closing message, the ultimate gift. Quote, I hope this book can serve as a field manual, an ultimate resource to enhance your health span, a book you can return to anytime you face real challenges. Before you turn the final page, I hope you really take a moment to commit to live in a beautiful state, no matter what happens. A beautiful state isn't perfect. It's better than perfect. It's messy, playful, full of fun. It's being generous with yourself and others and not taking yourself too seriously. It's working to keep getting better, to foster a life filled with joy and happiness and meaning. It's finding something or someone you want to serve more than yourself. Because that's the true meaning of grace. A life well lived, a life of service, and a life filled with love. End quote. A beautiful state. That is where we should all strive to live our lives. And yes, it will take work but mastering anything takes time and practice. The final chapter of this book is brilliant and so well written. Let's finish with this. Quote, It's my heartfelt prayer that this book has touched not just your head, but your heart as well, and that as a result, you'll take even better care of yourself and those you love. End quote. Well, that concludes my two-part look at Life Force, a 700-page book that I absolutely loved. You may not be inspired to read the entire 700-page book, but you don't have to in order to benefit from it. It's a comprehensive reference guide for you, your family, and your friends. You've been listening to Philosopher Insights with your host, Herb Lambert. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to support the podcast, 
please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To go deeper with me, you can register for free at www.philosopherinsights.com for instant access to a growing library of Philosopher Insights, which are 8 to 10 page PDFs, plus 20 minute MP3s that break down my favorite insights from the world's best personal development books. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Facebook at Optimal Herb. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.